2011. The Middle East, satellite and aerial photography, reveals high numbers of mysterious stone wheels carved into the earth in Syria, Saudi Arabia, and Jordan. First discovered in 1927, these stone circles are believed to number in the thousands and date back more than 2,000 years. Ranging in size from 80 to more than 200 feet in width, ancient astronaut theorists believe these designs fit a global pattern. It seems to me that there was high intelligence behind everything that has been constructed and built, and that it has all been built for a reason. Somebody decided to make these amazing circles with spokes. The same thing in Peru, and look at how far apart we are. Peru is in one hemisphere, and Jordan and Syria and Saudi Arabia are in another hemisphere, and they are on two sides of the planet, but you're talking about a similar kind of, shall we say, communication. Thanks to Google Earth, we now have a vehicle by which we can see some of these glyphs. They're being called Nazca-like phenomena. I think we are opening the first page of a chapter that deals with glyphs and structures which can be seen from the air. It's not only in Nazca that ancient man was trying to communicate to the heavens, but around the world we are finding new monuments and glyphs that raise the question, was there a connected geodetic presence of sites that the extraterrestrials used to navigate around our planet? What is the purpose of the strange shapes and geoglyphs found at Nazca and all over the world? Were they used as navigational markers intended to guide space travelers? Or might they contain a more profound message for humanity? In 1972, cosmologist Carl Sagan stated that if an extraterrestrial intelligence exists in the universe, the means of contact would be mathematics. If you think about this as communication, as Carl Sagan was quoted as saying, it is certainly true that this would be the way we'd probably have to start. A circle is a circle, and that's just a universal feature of geometry. And it would be the same no matter where you are in the universe. Is it possible that otherworldly beings have been using basic mathematics and geometry in an effort to communicate with us? And might the proof of this be found in the many geoglyphs at Nazca and throughout the world? Could mankind have been receiving extraterrestrial messages for hundreds and even thousands of years? Messages that have gone unread and undeciphered right before our eyes. Imagine you wanted to reveal a truth about the higher worlds to humans. You would lay down one card at a time. Each of these cards would be a glyph or a crop circle image, and it would reveal something about the spiritual world. Not just knowledge, it would provide an experience of the actual reality it was describing. What we have in the Nazca culture is something which our ancestors knew that what they were making was going to have a lasting effect. Hundreds of years afterwards, it is still there. And it might be very ironic to realize that they were shouting out for the deity, saying, please come down and visit us. And that 100 years later, the Nazca lines have become the billboard for the ancient alien theory, whereby they really are interpreted as indeed a landing place for the deities. And so we might find that across time and space and culture, Really, the core of the message of the Nazca lines is maintained, even though maybe slightly placed in a different context. When you look at some of the glyphs at Nazca, they would seem to be just simple things, animals, figures, and things like that. But then other of the figures and the lines seem to be so incredibly complicated, mathematical, and they're, they're following energy lines. So there seems to be a much deeper meaning in all of the figures and the lines and where they're going and why they intersect. But we can't figure it out. Is it possible, as ancient astronaut theorists believe, that the lines and geoglyphs of Nazca are part of a worldwide communications network? A network that is directly connected to otherworldly visitors from the remote past. And if so, might this form of alien communication be intended for us? Or for something or someone not of this world.
Perhaps these strange shapes and symbols provide clues to mankind's not so distant future or serve as an invitation for other alien visitors to return. <laughs>